Hello everyone, I'm your host, Mr. Lindley. The topic for today, kinematics, study of motion or some fancy new exercise routine. For more, we go to our field correspondent, JJ. Thanks, Mr. Lindley. I'm here on location in Italy, in front of the birthplace of Galileo Galilei. He was the first person to study kinematics, which I can confirm is the study of motion. His work was done long before that man, named after a cookie. Back to you. Thanks so much, JJ. For more on the topic, let's head into the classroom to Mr. Lindley. Thanks, guys. That's right. Here we are with kinematics review today. We're going to do it. We're going to crush this. But first, uh, let's, let's pull up those equations, right? Pull up the equations we've been looking at, and we'll, we'll chat a little bit about some of the symbols. So for us, right, we had been saying uh, that X, right, foundationally, this is what we call position, right? And then we, a lot of times, have used delta X or delta Y, and this for us was displacement, and then we have something uh, like V, which this was velocity, right? Sometimes also referred to as speed, right? But remember, there is a difference between them. Uh, and then A we have as acceleration. Uh, and then finally, the thing that is there is T. And if you remember from class, I am partial to delta T. Uh, and this is our time. Now, uh, acceleration and velocity, those things are both vectors. And I mean, that's a whole other video in itself, right? But vectors just basically mean uh, two things that they have both magnitude uh, and direction going on with them. So it's not just the number value of them. It's also uh, whether or not they're left or right that is also important to us. Great. So, you know, we got our equations, we got our symbols, and, and what did we do with almost every problem that, that we did, right? We always make in a chat, a chatty, chatty, chat, making, a, making, a, making a chat. It's a single sided chat. Uh, you know, the big reason we had liked these charts is because if we use any of those equations there, we go off the rule of three and win. So if I have any three of those, any three of the things listed here, I'm going to be able to use a, an equation and solve, right? Uh, as long as they are unique values. So for instance, if, if two are the same, it's going to cause some issues. But Right, I can use any, and you know, with this unit, in the second unit, we did uh, 2D motion, and the big thing with, with 2D motion was we still making a chat, but now it's a double-sided chat. Look at this, it's a two-sided chat, a side for horizontal stuff, and one for vertical stuff. So we're still using the same method. We're still using the same equations. Again, remembering that in our equations, y would swap in and out for x, depending on whether or not we're talking about vertical and horizontal. And the rules for double-sided charts apply identically, uh, being that uh, it doesn't matter uh, what side you start on, but if we have three, we can win. Remember that time is the only thing that's allowed to be on both sides of these charts and to be identical, right? Time is the, the one singular thing. Now, something I think we, we should talk a little bit about before we get too much further into this uh, is sort of, you know, velocity and acceleration. Now, velocity and acceleration uh, are are different and you know we can think about this in many different ways and one way might be the units so velocity is meters per second and acceleration is meters per second per second uh, or sometimes written as meters per second squared so you can see that there's a fundamental difference between them we had described velocity as rate of motion okay so it's the rate at which the motion is changing and if we see where to look at this you know um if we were to try to speak these out you know for every second it's how many meters are are traveled okay for every second how many meters are traveled but if we look at something uh like acceleration uh for every second it's how much the meters per second change if i were to say that a little bit uh, more carefully for every second how much the velocity changes so we see that acceleration is a change in velocity, and velocity is a change in displacement or, or distance. So you see sort of a fundamental difference with this. Velocity is, is how it's moving, and acceleration is how that motion is changing. Uh, something else we had just discussed in class was, let's imagine uh, I have uh, a car, right? 
And let's say that my very poorly drawn car uh, can move in either direction. Uh, let's call, uh, for the sake of argument, this way positive. So let's imagine, let's talk about the scenario here with velocities and acceler accelerations a little bit. Uh, let's say the velocity is positive and the acceleration is also positive. How would we describe that motion? Well, if it's, if it's moving in the positive direction and also accelerating that way, we would call that speeding up. But, but what if? What if it's moving positively and accelerating negatively? Right? So now it's, it's moving sort of forward, and, but the acceleration is backwards. We refer to this as slowing down. Right? Let's take it a step further. What if it is moving negatively? Now, now the car is going backwards, but the acceleration is positive. So I'm moving backwards, but I'm accelerating the other way. Uh, that would be slowing down. What if it's moving backwards? Uh, and accelerating backwards, so it's moving backwards and accelerating backwards, this would be speeding up. This last one's a little weird because it, it is speeding up even though uh, it's getting more and more negative. But remember, speed just has um, the magnitude without the direction. Big thing uh, for us to sort of notice here is that if we look at this, when the direction of acceleration and velocity are the same, that's when we say the word speeding up. And when they're opposite, that's where we say slowing down. So it's important to watch out for that. It doesn't matter if something's moving to the left or to the right. Uh, it, what matters is the direction of the acceleration as well as the direction of, of the velocity. Cool, sweet. And you know, when we had uh, talked um, a bit about some of the other pieces uh, for this unit. We had talked about you know, two-dimensional motion uh, and you know, something like I might have uh, an object on the ground uh, and it might be launched up at some initial velocity and it might be launched at some angle. Right? And if it's being launched at, at some given angle, we would have to do trig components. Right? We have to do some sort of trig functions. Uh, and for, for this triangle here, I think you can see that we would have this and this. Uh, and we would call this uh, vox and voy. And now for here, uh, vox would be v naught cosine theta, and voy would be v naught sine theta. And we see a lot of this 2D motion questions. A lot of these come uh, into play when we have something like sports, right? So we have uh, some sort of, so sport, oh, I should not have said. <laughs> Did someone say sports? Yeah, I, I said, yes, I said sports, but can I just get back to, can I get back to this or? I knew you did. That's right, Mr. Lindley. In all sports that involve some sort of object that we're hitting, we're really gonna have to worry about kinematics. What's the initial velocity? What angles are being struck at? How far is it going to go? And when will it reach max height? These are questions that we all need answered as we sports. Great. <laughs> so we know whether we're whether chatting football, basketball, baseball, it doesn't matter, right? That's where a lot of these come on and we see like those problems where like, you know, someone's kicking a ball over a fence or something like that. And now, you know, these would uh, go into my charts, right? And and to deal with, with the two dimensional motion. The other thing, you know, I think that would be important to talk about with two dimensional motion for the, for the charts particularly, uh, is the vertical acceleration is gonna be little g uh, if it's in free fall. Now, this could be, positive or it could be negative and that would uh, solely depend on your de definition of a system. So is up positive, is down positive. But the horizontal acceleration, if we don't have anything funky going on and, and if we're neglecting air, we're going to have no horizontal acceleration at all. So that's going to be, uh, these are going to be, if we're doing double-sided charts, that's going to be something that's going to go into my charts uh, just about every time. The other, you know, sort of big things um, that, you know, we had discussed in this unit and you know, did a lot what with was uh, motion graphs. So, you know, one of the graphs that we had were we had like position graphs, right? Uh, and we also had uh, velocity time graphs. And then finally, we had acceleration time graphs. And, and we talked about using them and, and reading them. So let's talk about some of the important pieces from them. If I have a position graph, right? And let's say, uh, let's make it that beautiful shape. Right from this graph, the slope is going to tell me what the velocity is. 
So man, oh man, is that convenient. That's beautiful. And now for this, if we look at this, so we can see that this is increasing over time. So this would be like this. And then from a velocity graph, if we try to get slope, uh, we'll actually find uh, the acceleration. But the velocity graphs also gave us something else that's pretty important. Uh, they told us the area, uh, and the area for this graph uh, is displacement. Displacement. And then this this last graph, this would be like this, and we didn't do anything with that graph except draw it and, and make it happen. Uh, so this is you know sort of a, the basic overview of a lot of these different concepts and, and a lot of this unit. And I know something you might be really interested in is something like ball in the cup that we did. Uh, but I think that that might be uh, good enough for its own separate video. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, hit that, smash that like and subscribe. People say that. I heard it once, twice. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in uh, and stay tuned for the next unit review video.